in Birmingham. So we were chatting a little bit and there's some connection there of course with my grandparents, etc. So I was also privileged to attend the uh, conference where I was uh, head boy in 1982-81. So as you can see, that I'm not that young. <laughs> but in addition to that, thank God for the gifts that I've been talking about that, you know, from a youth, I was baptized at about 15, I've been preaching from then, and um, <laughs> in those days you were not given any time to prepare, you know, sometimes the guest speaker, they become at the pastor, just look at you and say, you know, Brother Philip, but this speaker is not coming from Kingston, prepare yourself. It is about five minutes to preach. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So much must always be ready. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. <laughs> but I thank God for the years I've been serving in Christian ministry um, in Jamaica, in the Cayman Islands, in the United States. And I was trying to mention in the connection the Bishop, um, Bishop Baxter and, of course, Bishop Anderson in Atlanta, Georgia, previously in Boston, who is also a first cousin to Bishop Baxter, who is married to my aunt, my mother's sister. So, I felt it, sir, I felt it. Praise God, the connection is there. But I've been preaching in all these different churches and I'm speaking, helping to the youth ministry and working with about, I was checking just yesterday, so about 20 churches here and abroad, whenever I am called upon, I'm happy to use my gifts in those areas. So, I praise God for that. I did a bit of work on radio as well in, in the Cayman Islands, about two to four years, producing and presenting my own radio program and working with the young people in the schools and getting them to come on the radio show and to do some work for the Lord there as well. So all in all, God bless you and thank you so kindly for the kind invitation to be here always here and other one, God bless you. So praise God for your ministry and your faithfulness. All the work you have been doing with the books you have written and the Christian ministry. I'm looking so good at you. Give God thanks for and I give God praise for all that you have done. God bless you so, so much. Um, I was asked to say a quick word. Um, the books are brought with me, so at the end you can have a talk with us about that. And there are some flyers as well. So later on we'll talk about that. But this is just a book about. Acts 27 and Paul's missionary journey to Rome in defense of the faith. And when they when they had that shipwreck, and when the centurion said, Those who can swim, swim for sure, others on broken pieces, others on the ground. And I took my inspiration from verse 44 of Acts 27, and some on broken pieces. And the title of the book safely through on broken pieces. Subtopic: Focus on what you have left, not on what you have left. And as our dear overseer said, our our commissioner, that it doesn't matter what you have in life, use what you have because life will not take away everything from us. But life gives every one of us something to work with, and whatever you have left, you use that for the glory of God. So God bless you as you we share this work and ministry with you. So at this time, I would like to certainly, um, over here, God bless you. Homer, <laughs> <Over. laughs> your bedtime homer. challenge to us as well as an encouragement, use it or lose it. Say that with me. Use it or lose it. Praise God. Praise God. Lose it or lose it. Praise God. Stretch your hands and pray for the preacher. Pray. Pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to 
be here. We thank you, Lord God, that you have blessed us with this wonderful opportunity to minister. Lord, and we pray you bless this word unto our hearts and may your name be glorified. Hide me there in the cross, Lord, and that as John the Baptist prayed, that you will increase and I will decrease. In Jesus' name we pray with thanks. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. The late Dr. Miles Monroe, Eastern of the Bahamas, once said, the richest place on earth, not the gold mines of Africa, not the oil fields of the Middle East, but the richest places on earth, he concluded, is a cemetery. Because he said that in the cemetery, there we find the unrealized potential. Dreams that were never realized. Talents which have never been used. And we die with the gifts and the talents that we have been given. And therefore he concludes that the richest places on earth are the cemetery. For there we find buried like this one talented servant. The goals, the dreams, the capabilities, the endowment, the potential that we have been given. Born with us and died with us. And the world get to see the books, the, the movies, and the talents and, all, and the difference that we could have made because of them. No doubt in 2 Timothy 3.15 we find that these words were penned to Timothy by Paul. And that thou hast known the Holy Scriptures as a child, yes. which are able to make thee wise unto salvation mm -hmm. through the faith in which in Christ Jesus. And my word of encouragement to you young people is that from a child you have known the Holy Scriptures. And I'm so delighted, my heart is filled with joy to hear you sing with passion this morning. Thank you for the to have you in this place where you can be nurtured and mentored in the ways of the Lord. And like Timothy, from a child you have known the Holy Spirit. And I'd certainly like to encourage us, the older ones, that in case you have children who have gone astray, though they may take a detour, they will not depart. Because from a child they have known the Holy Spirit. In 2 Timothy 1 6, the Bible says, You are to stir up the gifts within you. All the gifts and talents, the abilities, the capabilities, the endowments that God has placed within you. Paul encouraged Timothy to stir them up, use them. Praise God. The Bible says in Ephesians 4, 11 to 12, that he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers. And the purpose is for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. As our commissioner mentioned, it's not for us, but it's for the betterment of this world. And I find it quite interesting in 2 Timothy 4 verse 6 where Paul says, as for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering to God. The time of my death is near. Oh, praise God. Yes. My life has been poured out. God help us to, that we die empty. Die empty. He says, my life is poured out. Yes, sir. Everything, oh God, that you have placed within me, I have used it up for your glory. I've poured it out for the betterment of the church, for the betterment of humanity. Praise God. No doubt at the time of his death, he says, I have fought. I go fight. I've kept the faith. Now henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness with the Lord of righteousness which are won to me on that day. So we see that there's reward for the use of the gifts and the talents yes, that we have been given. Praise God. Jesus himself, praise God, in Luke 2.52 said, And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor of his God and man. And Jesus increased in wisdom, academic development, and stature, physical development, and in favor of his God, spiritual development, and man, social development. So Jesus developed as an all round person. And that's what we're encouraging you young people to do today. To seek to develop the full man, the total person. And to use all that God has given to you to make this world a better place. Knowing your purpose, knowing your vision, knowing why you're here. 
No wonder Jesus said in Luke 19 verse 10 that the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. And if I should ask you in one sentence to sum up your life's mission, you should be able to tell me a short line for your life. I could call the name of any major company right now and you could tell me their strap line. And if I say to you, what is it you were called to do? Because if you know what you're called to do, you know what you're not called to do. That's right. You will not be strayed by every wind of doctrine That's and by every agenda. Right. Because like Jesus, you could say, the Son of Man has come yes. to seek and to save yes. that which yes. was not. God help us to know our vision and our purpose, why we are here. And if we don't know our purpose and why we are here, we meander through life, accomplishing nothing. And the years creep upon us. And one day we wake up and find the color of our hair change and we didn't color it. With a few wrinkles. And if you wonder, how did we get here? And as one and I was saying this morning, we wake up and find life moves on from us. Yes. And some people become angry and bitter and resentful Jesus. because you did not remember the, your Creator in the days of your youth. Before the evil days come, yes, when the grinders are few, Jesus. and when you shall say, My soul find no pleasure. Oh, 
watching on your own Gethsemane experience, then you have the power and the anointing because you're been through something. And you're proving yourself faithful. These are the men who have passed through great tribulation, who have watched this world, in the blood of Recommended us to the Father if you have been through nothing. When you have been crushed and pressed and the oil flows from the crushing, then the anointing flows from the pressing. Give him praise. Hallelujah. The foolish virgin missed their opportunity because, like the ark, there was a time when the door was shut. Yes, sir. Give us some of your oil. No. Go to them that buy. The sell and buy for yourself. Yes. Because if I give you my oil, if I give you my anointing, when the bridegroom come, I have nothing. And I will be a castaway just like you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's there. That can be to forsake his ways. And the righteous man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there was a presumption by the foolish ones that they had all the time. Yes, sir. You don't have all the time. Life has a limit. You have a limit. Yes. But we see there were blessings and rewards. Enter thou into the joy of my salvation. As the bridegroom came, those who had their oil ready and their lamp trimmed and burning were invited into the marriage supper yes. of the Lamb. The yes. blessing, the reward. And for those who were unprepared, they were cast into outer darkness. Yes. And the door was shut. There comes a time when the door will be shut. Like with the ark, the Bible said God shut the door. Yes. 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 When God shuts the door, no man shall open. And the converse is true that when God opens the door, no man can shut it. Praise God. That part about the virgin is about the kingdom of God. And in like manner, the part of the talent following is about the kingdom of God. Because the parable, as we were taught in school, is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Yes. A short, simple story yes. illustrating a moral or a spiritual truth. Yes. So the story about the virgin and about the bags of gold or the talents, yes. they are stories. Yes. But the point, don't miss it. Because the point is yes. about the kingdom yes. of God. Yes. But Christ is using a story yes. to illustrate yes. a spiritual truth. Yes. And to any father, yes. the reference says that a talent worth 20 years of a day laborer's wage or wow. 100 years worth of labor for the five talented servants. Yes. And the point there is that what was given to yes. each servant yes. was something extremely valuable. Yes. So as the commissioner said, even if you have got one talent, you have been given the equivalent of 20 years of labor for a, for a common labor. And you think for one minute, what God has endowed in you, what he has placed in you, your gifting, your talents, your abilities, your potential, everything that God has given to you is precious. That's right. Everything. Your gift, natural talents, your skills, your potential, your powers, your capabilities, your calling, your training, your creative or artistic aptitudes or endowments. The spiritual gifts I mentioned earlier. For example, some are prophets, mm -hmm. evangelists, yes. pastors, yes. teachers. Yes. And beyond that, the Bible talks about diversities of gifts. Yes. By the same spirit. Some word of wisdom, yes, word of knowledge, yes. some of the gift of faith, yes. some of healing, yes. the gift of miracles, yes. prophecy, yes, diverse kinds of tongues, yes, and others the gift of interpreting mm. tongues, yes. but by the same Spirit, Spirit 1 Corinthians 12, yes. praise yes. God. So we find that we all have been entrusted with what? Gifts 
talents, abilities, but we have, as was mentioned, responsibility yes, according to our abilities. Yes, yes. No one of us yes, should be jealous of anybody. No, no, no. Because God knows our specification. With every equipment or product, there comes a manual. And the manual guides how that must be used. Yes. And it specifies the specifications. That's right. To come here, we drive on the guard for Queen Elizabeth Bridge. When you are going through the tunnel and you look up on that bridge of nearly 800 meters of its scary. But you know something? Everything has been taken into account in the specification to know what load it can be. That's right, that's right. And in like manner, the Bible says that God will give unto us no more than we are able to be. So no doubt, whatever you're going through, you're willing. You're willing. So let none say, I can't cope or I can't manage. Because if you couldn't manage it, you wouldn't have been it. No. You can do it. See, I can do all things through Christ. Not of my strength, not of my ability, not of my capability, but through Christ. But you are going to do it. I can do it. But it's through Christ who strengthens me. What are your talents? So you have been given something. Life is not that unfair to us to give us nothing. Everybody has something. Don't compare yourself with other people. Because you want to be in the limelight. No. You may be called to hospitality. You may be called to help in the parking ministry. You may be called to give a word of encouragement. You may be called to call and pray for somebody. You may be called to make a Christmas pudding for somebody. Praise God. Do it joyfully. Yes, that's right. And do it as unto the Lord. That's right. So in the story, young people, they all had decisions and choices to make. Verses 16 to 18. Those with five talents and two talents, they invested it. Yes. They put it to good use, yes. they made a decision, yes. they made a choice. Yes. Yes. We are going to invest what life has given to us. Yes. We're going to use the potential, the capabilities, the anointing, the endowment, the gifts, the talents, the skills that God has given to us. We're going to multiply them and use them in Christian ministry yes. for the work of humanity to make this world a better place. Yes. Because there's a day of reckoning. When accounts will be settled. Yes. Reckon. Yes, sir. Accounts. The Bible says in that in the ten virgin, there's a time when the bridegroom will return. Yes. yes. Did you occupy till he come? Yes. God. There's a time when the master will return yes, and call into account what did you do with the talents I gave you? Yes. Don't tell me it was only one. Come on. Because whether it's one, two, or five, it doesn't matter. No. What have you done with what I gave you? So we find that there were commendations. Yes. Commendations for and rewards for effectiveness, fruitfulness, and productivity and potential that were realized. Amen. However, unproductivity, inefficiency, fruitlessness, those servants were reprimanded, rebuked, and rejected yes. for not making use of what God gave them. That's right, that's right. And by the way, excuses were not accepted. That's right. Don't come with it, you're a hard man. It's your fault why I didn't make anything of my life. Your standards were too high, Master. It's your fault. Why did you, you raise the standards so high? Why did you expect, what do you expect me to do? You're a hard man, he complained. He was not a risk taker. He was fearful. He said, I was afraid. And I, and I tell you something, one of the biggest challenges we have to go through in life is fear. And I tell you one of the th things that Christ said most to his disciples, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Because, you know, we all have our early formation. We all have the way we were brought up. And some of us, yes, I don't know about you, but in the country, every teacher had a thought. Jesus. Every teacher had a strap. And, yes, yes. and you don't have to do anything wrong for the teacher to that's warm right, your, right. your lower parts, the lower posterior end. Hmm? 
Yes. And you go home and complain to your parents, you get another one. Yes. And they probably march back to teach you and say, take care of him. Yes. Praise God. Mighty God. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying it. Yeah, we have not have any child abuse in our world. Every teacher has a struck. Jesus. Praise God. That's why we don't complain for everything. We grow tough, man. Yes. Get up three, four o'clock before cock crow Jesus. and walk five miles to dig up yam. Sometimes when I get to the field to dig up yam and ginger, we have to sleep on the tree for day to lie down. Yes. Because when the first cock crow, my father thought it was five o'clock, it was two o'clock. Yes. The cock had crow. Yes. Praise God, we didn't have the clock to tell us it was not five. Yes. Yes. We have to walk. Come on. Praise God. Barefoot. Come on. Come on. To school. Yeah. yeah, I went to primary school without shoes. Yeah. I tell my little ones to get in riding expensive yeah. cars to school. Yeah. I said, where to get up and walk to school without door chores? Yeah. Sweep up yard, look after the animal, yeah. pass for the animal, carry the pot, water on her head. Yeah. 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 Walk miles to school without shoes. Yeah. And if we're a few minutes late, the head teacher will be at the gate with the cane. Yeah. Yeah. Praise oh, God. We have to do our chores. I'm going to ask for no fiver. You know, we give me allowance. We have too many plates you want. You pay me. Pay for what? Pay for what? You live in the home. Do your heart joyfully. Give yes. with a smile. Yes. And the children say amen. amen. And the parents say aloud amen. amen. Praise God. school before I start to wear school shoes to school. Yes. And that one shoes we had to carry it in our hand and walk the mile off the mud. And when we reach down the main road to wash our feet and then the one stand by and put on the shoes yes. and catch the one bus. Praise God. We grow tough man, we don't know foolishness. Hey. Yes sir, we grow tough. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. That's why when we came here, we worked so hard, one on myself. Hmm? Very difficult times. Because we know that, sorry, we know that we have to achieve what we have to achieve. Yes. When we went left Essex and we went to Kent, my goodness, what did we go for 30? Mm. Changed nearly six to eight trains a day Jesus. to work in Walsham Stone. Yeah. Get back, see, after parent evening, some even I don't get home till midnight. <laughs> And Rona and I, we clean toilets. We stock shelf at Tesco for three pounds an hour. And while doing all of that, we're going to university. I did, I did my bachelor's degree, did all of that. Still got a first class honor. Hallelujah. Finished my bachelor's degree, first class honors, without a break, straight into a master's in leadership and management. Distinction. Praise God. Same day I handed in my 30,000 word in the master's dissertation. I picked up the PhD application. Same day, six more years, preaching in nine churches, managing a little business, and doing all that I was doing, and still finished my doctorate in little or no time. Praise God. To so this day, my professors are saying, how do you do it? How do you manage a full-time job and all that you do and still finish a PhD in record time? Praise God. Give God a praise. Put away the fear. You, if, if, if you were not even going to invest the money, at least you could have put it in the bank. Yes, yes, yes. And now the interest rate is up to five point something percent, now zero point something. At least you'll get a little interest on the fear. Yes, yes. You'll get a little interest. So you should have used it up. Yes, sir. Praise God. So I wanted to speak specifically to the young, young people and ourselves included because as adults, we too need to hear this word. Yes, and I'm preaching to myself. That God has given us all blessings, yes. giftings, and abilities. God has high expectations of all of us for the use of them. Yes. We are and we will be judged differently. So don't look at those with five talents or say, I have only one. You use the one you have and multiply the one and give your master a hundredfold on that. Yes. Produce according to your ability. Your giftings, your talents, your expertise, your training, your capabilities, and your potential. 
Avoid comparison with others. That's right. And use what you have. The Bible in Proverbs 18, verse 16 says, Your gift will make room for you yeah. and bring you before great men. Yeah. Not the gift of somebody else, no. but your gift. That's right. Praise God. Our dear pastor, Steve, you heard me just in waves. And praise God, they are here. Yeah. Your gift will make room for you yeah. and bring you before great men. Be faithful, therefore, over a few things, yes, sir. and you will be made ruler uh -huh. over many things. Matthew 25, 23. Look at David and Goliath. When he faced that child, he could say these words, Thy servant yes. kept thy father's sheep. Yes. And while I was keeping watch over the sheep, behold, yes. I am a king. Yes. I have never fought as Goliath and a giant in my life. But no, my virtue yes. of the experiences I've had in the backside of the desert, yes. with the lion and the bear, yes, I shall devour this filthy. A rock. Yes, right. Yes. And a rock. Yes. Jesus. And that works for me. Yes, sir. Moses, what is in your hand? I'm stomach. I stutter. Yes. I shut up. Yes, yes. Talk to Pharaoh with your stutter. If that's all you have, stutter to Pharaoh. God, you have only a uh, stutter and your slow speech. You take Aaron with you. Who caused trouble? Yes. Who caused trouble? Yes. Who will the golden calf? That's right. You took Aaron with you. You don't need Aaron. Oh my God. Because God says you're well able. Amen. I've already given you the giftings and the talents Amen. that you need. Unproductivity, slothfulness, fear, non mistaking unfruitfulness will be judged by life yeah. and by God. And I tell you something, that when people reach a certain stage in life, yes. and when you look back over your life, and you see that you have not accomplished anything in life, I'm telling you, that's one of the worst things that can happen to you. When anger, resentment, bitterness, jealousy, when you look at other people who are flourishing, some of them went to school with you, you had the same opportunity as them, you were lazy, you did nothing with your life, you were partying, you were talking, you were drinking. And you have the guts to look at them and just say that they are showing off. No, they are not. They are celebrating their success. <laughs> Celebrate your success. Rebuke the naysayers. And you children who are doing well in school and your friends putting you down about your teacher's pet. And rebuke them. And achieve great things in life. Get your merit. Get your star awards. Do the best you are doing. And don't pay attention to fools. Watch your company. Break free from the bad company. From a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures. You know the right thing. Yes. Talking foolishness. They are a mate, man. They are a mate. Chosen from your backside. Pull up your trousers. Wear your soft shoulder. Pull up your good dress like, like a, as, as um, Les Brown said, dress like a prospect and not like a suspect. You on the road, you're there. Whoa, 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 I didn't hear nothing. I don't, I don't know what I'm yeah. Talk intelligently. Yes. Fix yourself properly. Look like you're intelligent. Yes. Open the mouth and speak to the office of his respect. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yes, oh, God, my God. Yes. Come on, so take your time. Hey. Yes. That's how I talk to my students. That's how I talk to my little ones. Yes. I say you're from Blue Table. Represent us well. Come on, Mr. Hey! Put your children down your backside walking like a penguin. On your penguin. Pull up your trousers. Dress properly. Open your mouth and speak with respect. Talk to 
your teachers with respect. Yes. Do the work you are given. Yes. Stop distracting the lesson. Have a goal, have a vision, have a purpose. How many people are going somewhere in life? Yes. Praise Jesus. God. Yes. What we need. There's something in sociology, when I taught you level sociology and psychology, we have something called deferred gratification Jesus. and delayed gratification. You put on hold temporarily your pleasures for the greater good of what is again. Yes, yes, but the Bible says he shook it 
and he lived. And I find it very interesting in Acts 28, and the Bible says that Publius, the governor of Malta, who showed Paul and the others hospitality when they crashed off Malta. Publius' father was sick with dysentery, vomiting and passing blood. The Bible says that it was Paul who laid his hands on Publius' father's head and healed him. Yes. And many more came and were healed. And I find that the bitten hand became the healing hand. The same hand that was bitten by the venomous serpent became the instrument of power and glory. You can pray. So as I wrap this up, may I give you a few challenge? Yes. Praise yes. God. Uh -huh. Be aware of the celebrity get rich quick mentality yes. and the influence that it is having on young people today. Uh -huh. Everybody wants to just put something on social media and become celebrity. Yes. Everybody, nobody wants to respect process. No. No. Process. No. No. Deferred gratification. No. Respect the process. No. Work hard. Study hard. Spend the time doing the work. Put up with the stupid games. And do your homework and do it to the best of your ability. Yes, Respect your process. Stir up the gifts, the training, the education. As I normally say, some people see the glory, but they don't know the story. That's right. You see the glory, the ultra manifestations, yeah. but you don't know the price someone has to pay to get there. Yeah. Some people hear the recital, but they don't know the rehearsal. That's right. Some people see the success, but they don't know the sacrifice it took to get there. The young man who came up here this morning was talking about the schools. Where is he? Where is he? God bless you. God bless you, sir. Keep up the good work. The last thing, God against the so-called progressive culture and reject the myths associated with your generation. One, that everybody is doing it. That you have fun while you're young and that youth is the time to experiment with everything. Right? And that you are young and you have all the time and that you can choose your own truth and identity. Guard against those. May God bless you. Yes, sir. Have your clock and stop, which I'm watching. Yes, <laughs> your clock is just stop. Just stop. Okay, praise God. I'm just about wrapping up. But may heaven bless you. Yes, sir. What a joy to share with you today. God bless you. Yes. And
will you come? Amen. Just come quickly and let him pray for you today. Amen. Doctor, God bless you today. Thank you for those words. Can you pray? But these will come forward in Jesus' name. Thank you. 